Hey folks, Nass here. We are back for part two of our Unigos Story 9. So we're supposed to be going and talking to Jan right now, um, I guess, to see if we can get him on our side um, so we can not have uh, Unigos uh, watchmen after us, <laughs> I guess, when we confront uh, Unigos about uh, having... Rasimir's Uncle Jordan killed. Uh, but anyway, let me finish heading off to uh, Hornica to talk to Jan, and I will see you shortly. Alrighty, folks, we are coming into Hornica. I want to, uh, I need to buy some more animal feed, because we still can't make any animal feed yet. Uh, let's see. Don't know where that animal feed vendor went to. Is this the guy here? Maybe this is the guy. Yeah. There he is. Show me your wares. Uh, animal feed. How much for all of it? 1300 I guess I'll take it because, man, my animals are eating it up. <laughs> all right, let's see. Saddlebag. Large saddlebag. I don't know what saddlebag I have on my horse right now. I'm going to have to look. Probably end up making a different one. We'll figure it out later. Uh, let's see if we can find Jan. Looks like he's going to be across town over here. Let's see if we can talk to him before it gets dark because it's also season change right now too. Alrighty, Jan. How we doing? Hello, Jan. Uh, still the strongest man in Hornica, as I see. And beyond. Uh, how can I help you, my friend? We got two options again. So the first option, actually, I am talking to you in a semi-official matter. Uh, I learned you are somewhat of a commander in the watch now, or we have option two. I am on a quest for justice and I need your strong arm on my side. Hmm. I'm thinking number two might be the better option with Jan. So let's try number two. Of course, I can't back out of this now. We've already started it. Yep, let's go to number two. Um, you have my attention. What is your problem exactly? I have stumbled across an old unsolved mystery. Actually, even a crime that needs to be put to justice. A murder, to be precise. Who was murdered and by whom? My uncle, a long time ago, as you know. The new, the new information is that he was killed by, by a henchman paid by Unigost. No way. Do you have some proof for that? Two witnesses, one respected and well-known, the other feared and well-known, but they are reliable. This, this is madness. What do you expect me to do? You know, Unigost is the Castilian, the most powerful man in the valley, the right hand of the king around here. Two options again. First option, I know for now it is good enough if you do nothing uh, and don't help Unigost once I officially raise the accusation. Or two, option two, just, just promise me that you will protect the witnesses if needed and not Unigost. I wonder which one should I choose? For now it is good enough if you do nothing and don't help Unigost once I officially raise the accu accusation. I'm more about number two because this is what Gisela was talking about is actually having protection. So let's, uh, let's go with number two. Of course, you have my word. And I know it's worth. Thank you, Jan. So we've got Jan on our side now. Now we have to go back and talk to Gisela. So let's do this. I think I'm probably going to sleep the night and then head off to Gisela. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back to the settlement 
sleep the night since the settlement is halfway anyway. Can I... I can't open my inventory. Yeah, we, there we go. Can I drink while I'm on the horse? Is that a thing? Yes, it is. Alrighty, so let me head off to the settlement and I will see you folks shortly. Alrighty, folks. I am back in the settlement. I have slept the night. Um, I actually put that animal feed in the trough um, in the sheep fold. I tell you what, I am probably going to end up selling off some, if not most, of those animals. Um, because I'm gonna, one, I'm not doing anything with them. And I can probably buy wool thread and stuff for just as much as I'm spending on animal feed right now. And I don't have uh, crops going. I've got, I've had some rye crops. So I think this one here may end up being rye when it's time to harvest or plant. Uh, but I don't think I have any oat going to make animal feed. Uh, but I don't know. I'm going to have to start trying to get some of that stuff and get that going. But anyway, let me uh, <clears throat> get on the old stallion here and head off and see Gisela. And I'll see you folks when I get there. All right, folks, we're coming up here into Lesnica. Let's see if we can catch Gisela before she heads out. Oh, here she is right here. Where is she going? Nope, nope. Come back here, Gisela. There you are. Good news. Jan and the Watch will not protect Unigost, but you and your family if needed. That's a relief, and I am glad that my judgment about Jan was right. Let's see. You have, you have me as a witness, but out of curiosity, how did you know I was around when your uncle died? You owe me that now. Uh, we've got two options again. So first option, fair enough. Sambor came a bit later to the scene than you, but still soon enough to see you headed back, heading back. Actually, he thought you could have been the murderer. Or option two, I can't tell you his name, but I can tell you he actually had a suspicion you were the murderer. Not a strong one, but still. Hmm. So I'm thinking that maybe, hmm. So the first one, we basically tell her that Sambor is the one that told me, or told uh, Rasimir about Gisela. Otherwise, we're protecting, option two, we're protecting Sambor right now. Well, this one here says that he thinks that she could murder somebody. <laughs> but this one here, he said, is, uh, let's go with two. I think that it might be a little more diplomatic. Let's try that. What a pile of dung. I would never aim my arrow at a fellow human being. Tell him that. <laughs> I will. <laughs> Actually, I will right now. He needs to know the truth. Two. <laughs> what a pile of dung. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, we've got... Jan on our side, we've got Gisela on our side, obviously we have Sambor on our side. Uh, so now we've got to go back and talk to Sambor. Whoops, didn't mean to open that. Actually, I did want to look to see... Uh, oh, we do have the large saddlebag. Okay, well that's good then. I was curious which one we had. Uh, let's see, we're riding the old stallion. Alrighty, so let me head back over to Sambor and talk with him, and I'll see you folks in just a little bit. Alrighty, folks, we have reached Sambor's place. So now we need to let him know that Gisela and Jan are all on our side and that Gisela didn't have anything to do with it. Come here, Sambor. Hi. Alrighty, so Gisela didn't do it, as I expected. To be honest... Excuse me, <laughs> that sounded horrible. Gisela didn't do it, as I expected, to be honest. Also, she didn't see the murder itself. However, she is willing to witness that Unigos went through the belongings after my uncle was killed. Good. I mean, 
not good enough to hang him, uh, but he is done if that gets spread through the village, unless the watch has his back and the watch is on my side, or at least neutral. Still, Unigost is dangerous, and when pushed to the limit, capable of anything. You have to be really careful how you pursue justice now. Any suggestions? Several. Uh, the easiest would be to challenge him, to challenge and fight him, kill him, or put him in shackles. Doesn't really matter. And then bring forth your witness. Jordan was beloved and respected. Unigost is neither. You can, you can, you can expect it. Um, uh, you can expect a cheering crowd making you the new Castilian. Uh, beating up or even killing an old man. Come on, Sambor. You know I don't want to do that. Yes, and that makes you the better man. Hard to hate, even for me. Uh, your other options are to conf confront him, scare the hell out of him, make him leave the village, or blackmail him to do so. I think I could do that. Uh, he, he is an old man, having to leave everything behind he, he has worked for, stolen and embezzled. I believe this is punishment enough. That's, that's the judgment and justice of a true leader. Uh, you have my full support when you do that. Wait a second, leader? And was that about me becoming the, and was that about me becoming the new Castilian? I don't want the position. And that's exactly the reason why you're the best man for it. Face the truth. You have been visiting all villages and settlements for many years now. You know the people, you earned their trust, and you are Jordan's heir. Of course they will put you, your name forth. It doesn't matter what the people put forth. It is the king who decides. Well, or at least a steward or baron acting in his name. True that, but your uncle was popular in the cities. His name had quite some value, even at court. For the king, you are the best choice as the next tax collector and peacekeeper around here. At least that will give me a reason to keep disliking you. <laughs> Uh, or to pretend not liking me, grumpy man. Ha! Don't you have a Castilian to dispose? Yes, I have. Thank you, Sambor, for everything. Alrighty. Well, I guess now we get to go and confront uh, Unigost and see how that works out. Uh, let's see, where'd my horse go? There he is over there. Alrighty, so let's head back to Gustovia. And we are going to talk to Unigost. So I will see you folks shortly. Let's see, which way is... Wait, what is that? Hang on, there's a tree there. But I'm seeing... That's weird. Do I have multiple things going? No, I should... Okay, I'm facing the right way. Got turned around for some reason. Alrighty, let me head back to Gustovia, and uh, we're going to talk to Unigost. Alrighty, folks, we are back in uh, Gustovia, and I think I just passed Unigost, so let's go find him. Oh, here he comes right now. What am I doing? I'm stuck on my horse. Mr. Unigost, we need to have a word. Hi. Hello, Unigost. We have to talk. About what? about your retirement and your sudden wish to spend your last days either in the south, in the warmth, or in a prison in the next town. What the hell are you talking about? I know that you had my uncle killed. You wanted his wealth, his buildings, his gold. You hired an assassin and... Are you out of your mind? Stop spreading such ridiculous lies. I have two witnesses. One saw you paying the henchman. The other, how you stole from Jordan's corpse. I don't have to listen to this nonsense. Watchmen, watch! The watchmen won't help you, old man. They serve the villagers, not you. 
I am the Castilian. I spit on your witnesses. I am the voice of the king around here. You have no power to dispose me, no say in my actions. All right, we have two options. Option number one, you are right. I have no power over you. No one here has, but I will summon the steward uh, from a nearby city to judge the act accusations properly. If you are really innocent, you have nothing to be afraid of. Or we have option two. See, you were the voice of the king. I sent a letter to the court describing your involvement in the Jordan's de in Jordan's death. And more important, all the details about how you withheld taxes and kept them from your for yourself. That's a claim that that's a lie, but we know that he withheld some of the taxes. Or he was collecting more taxes than he was supposed to be paying. Maybe that's probably what he did. Uh, let's see here. Either way, he wasn't giving enough either to the people or to the king, one or the other. You were right, I have no power. To... Yeah, so you have nothing to be afraid of. So I'm almost thinking... Hmm. I'm going to say number one, because the lie could backfire. I don't know that either one's going to backfire, but let's, uh, let's go with number one. To where he would bring a, a steward from a nearby city to judge the accusations properly. Or we're going to try and scare him. Now, if we're going to scare him, though, we're supposed to be scaring him to where he would leave and retire. So maybe we do number two. Let's try two. You, you are lying. You can't even write. No, I can't. Uh, but the provost of the monastery in the north was very helpful, especially after I donated some coins for their roof. Jordan was a fool, so wealthy, so rich, and no children to inherit. I put his wealth to better use for all of us. No, you put it in your own. You put it to your use. I thought he was going to say something else. <laughs> uh, let's see. We all are better off without you. Come on, Unigas. Justice is waiting. You can't do that. This is a death sentence. And I am not a murderer like you. That's why I offer you a last chance. One horse, as much good and coins as you can carry on it, and be gone by the end of the day, which is now because <laughs> it's getting dark. Uh, do you understand? So be it. You win. Wise choice. If we see you around here ever again, you are done. Well, there we go. <laughs> we just kicked Unigast out of the valley. Hot diggity dog. Well, that felt good. Oh, he's gone? Like, he's leaving? Oh, look at there. He's even listed, if you look at the directional thing, he's listed as a vendor now and not the Castilian. So it actually changes the little icon on the directional doodiddy. Will it actually let us sell something to him? Oh, it will. Talk to him? Oh, yeah, he's not interested in talking to us right now. He's mad. But he's just like literally walking off like he didn't didn't get a horse or nothing. But yep, we it said it in the dialogue for him to get a horse. And however much goods he can carry and some coins, I guess. But he just, he's mad. <laughs> well, there we go. Uh, we have no more chapter quests, no more story quests, no more side quests, no more challenges. Uh, now, granted, uh, I've got the steward here as well. Uh, I know it's getting dark and it's hard to see on here real quick, but uh, because I hadn't been playing this season one f when they introduced the Herald, um, while I was actually recording this video, it popped up the little thing on the center of the screen telling me about the challenges, which is, you know, the when you talk to the Herald, the little guy there in the really dapper outfit and stuff. Uh, so we do have that. Uh, wait a minute. So there's the Castilian tag right there with the little paper and ribbon on it. Who is this? L Lubart? Okay, so 
We talked to him. Show me where he's hanging out a minute. Lubart. So he sells all the same stuff that Unigost used to sell. Interesting. So he's going to be the Castilian now? or That's interesting. I thought we were going to be. At least according to Sambor. <laughs> well, alrighty. I'm going to stand over here because it's a little bit brighter. Well, anyway, folks, uh, we've got the Unigost Story 9 done. Um, I don't know. It doesn't say waiting for further events or anything like that. So I'm not sure if there's going to be any more storyline quests available. Uh, of course, if there are, we will definitely do them. Uh, but for now, this is going to be the end of the video, and I appreciate you guys joining me for this. Definitely hit that like button if you like the video. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. Both those items help the channel a great deal, and I greatly appreciate it when you do those things. Um, and we will see you folks in the next one. You take care, and happy hunting.